The objective within this lesson is to add mixed numbers. Here we're asked to find the sum of 2 and 3 eighths and 3 and 1 eighth. It might help us to think about this within unit form. What is this? Right, it's two ones along with three eighths. What's this then? Right, three ones along with how many eighths? One eighth. What would we do then to be able to figure out the sum? Right, we would add them because it is the answer to an addition problem. When we add numbers, we add like units. So let's add those fractional units first, those eighths. Three eighths and one eighth is four eighths. And then we also have ones. How many ones do we have in all? Right, five ones. So, in unit form, it's five ones along with four eighths. And how do we write that as a mixed number then? Right, there we go. We have those as numbers then. Let's write that sum where it belongs. So when we're adding mixed numbers, we add those fractional parts. We have 3 eighths along with 1 eighth, where the units was the same, to be able to get 4 eighths. And we add those whole numbers, in this case 1's, 2 along with 3 more does give us 5. Now there's one more thing that we would need to do with this sum here, and we would need to express it within simplest form. And to simplify it in this case, we would divide both the numerator and denominator by 4 to be able to get 5 and 1 half. Here we have another problem. We have 3 and 1 fourth plus 1 and 3 fourths. If we were to break apart and decompose each of these numbers, each of these mixed numbers, we could break them apart into its wholes and into its fractional parts. So 3 and 1 fourth would be 3 along with 1 fourth. 1 and 3 fourths would be 1 along with 3 fourths. I think that you would agree with me then. We could put addition signs in between so that 3 and 1 fourth plus 1 and 3 fourths does equal 3 plus a fourth plus 1 plus 3 fourths. The next thing that we would do as we are working with this sum is we would group like units. 3 plus 1 for the ones, and then we would still have 1 fourth plus 3 fourths. When we have 1 fourth and another 3 fourths, that equals four fourths. And then when we add those like units three plus one, we get four. So we have four ones plus four fourths. We know that four fourths does equal one, so we'd have four plus one, which equals five. Looking at our numbers here, we have one fourth, three fourths. One fourth and three fourths is four fourths. Then we would add our whole numbers, three plus one, which equals four. So we can also rewrite four and four fourths as five. Here are a few problems for you to try. Please go ahead and pause the video while you do your work. For the first one here, we'd have one-fifth 
and three-fifths more. So we're adding like units there to be able to get four-fifths. And then we'd have three ones along with two more ones, which would be five. Read the whole number sentence with me. Three and one-fifth plus two and three-fifths equals five and four-fifths. And five and four-fifths is in simplest form. For the other problem here, again, we'd have two-sevenths along with five-sevenths. So if we had written that out into unit form to be able to think about how it is to add them, we would add two-sevenths and five-sevenths first to be able to get seven-sevenths. We'd also add the six ones along with the three ones to be able to get how many ones? Right, nine ones. What do we know about seven sevenths? Right, seven sevenths does equal one. So that nine ones and seven more sevenths equals 10. Look over and check your work. Here I have the question 6 and 5 eighths plus 1 and 5 eighths. Let's take a look at this and how it is that we would find this sum when we think about these within unit form. We have 6 ones along with 5 eighths for our first mixed number. What would you have for the second one? Right, 1 1, and then there's also 5 eighths. Let's add our eighths first. Five eighths. Five eighths more is ten eighths. Six ones along with one more one is seven ones. So if we were to write this as a mixed number now, we would write it as seven ones along with ten eighths. Now the difference between this problem here and the other type of problem that we were looking at is now we have 10 eighths, which is actually more than one. If we were to decompose that, we could decompose it into that whole, which is eight eighths, along with two eighths, so that we would have seven plus one, which equals eight, and two eighths. 8 and 2 eighths is not in simplest form, so if we were to go ahead and put that into simplest form, we would get 8 and 1 fourth as our answer. Looking at our numbers again with our problem, fractional parts first, 5 eighths plus 5 eighths is 10 eighths. 6 and 1 is 7, and then 7 and 10 eighths does equal 8 and 2 eighths, which does equal 8 and 1 fourth. Here we have another problem, 2 and 3 fifths plus 1 and 4 fifths. Let's go ahead and use a number line to help us solve this problem. Let's think about this a little bit. We've got 3 fifths plus 4 fifths. We know that's going to equal 7 fifths, and then we also have 2 plus 1 which we know will equal 3. So this here, if we're thinking about whole numbers, we start at 0 when we're working with our sums, and we're going to go up to not only 3, but we'll have to go higher than that as well. So let's go ahead and start here. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and we'll also put 5 onto our number line. So Let's go ahead and start here, where we're working with 2 and 3 fifths, 1 and 4 fifths. We'll break it apart into it, the whole numbers to take a look at adding the whole numbers first. So we'll have 2 first. And that comes from right here with our whole number portion of the mixed number. And then we'll also add in the 1. So we'll travel another 1 which is the plus 1. And then next we'll go ahead and look at 3 fifths and then 4 fifths more. 
So we'll have to break this apart into fifths here. One, two, three, four lines for five parts. One, two, three, four lines for five parts. All right, so three fifths first. One, two, and three. That's plus three fifths. And then another four fifths. And then so we go one, two, three, four. That was plus four fifths. So we see from our number line that we are at four and two fifths, which makes sense as seven fifths would be equal to one whole along with two fifths plus another three does give us four. This problem, we have four and five six plus one and five six. This time, let's work by decomposing each of these mixed numbers to see how it is that we would add them together. For the first one, we have four holes along with five six, and for the other mixed numbered, we'd have one along with five six. Next, let's go ahead and group those like units. We'll put our ones together, and then we'll put our six together. Then we'll go ahead and add those. Four plus one is five, and then five six plus five six is 10 six. We know that 10 six is made up of six six along with four six. Six six because six six equals a whole, and then four more six does equal 10 six. So we have five plus one whole plus four six. Again, that one hole coming from right here. And then we still have the four six there. Putting that all together, we have six and four six, which does equal six and two thirds when we put it into simplest form. So again, that's five six and five six, which is 10 six, four plus one being five, and then when we simplify that, we end up getting 6 and 4 6, which does equal 6 and 2 thirds. So that's how it is that we work with sums when we are working with mixed numbers. We have to make sure that we have like units and that we're adding like units.